Hey there, let's look at three methods to check if debug mode is enabled in a Laravel project. Let's start with the first and the most obvious one. Open the .env file and check the app debug variable. In my case, it's false. If you choose to change the value to true, then don't forget to run php artisan config cache command to clear out the configuration cache. Now let's switch to a more programmatic way of checking if debug mode is enabled. We can use app facade with has debug mode enabled method. Now let's put this into a die and dump and see what value we are getting. All right, switch to browser, switch to page, and as you can see, in my case, debug mode is enabled. So, in a similar fashion, we can use the app helper instead. So, we have app has debug mode enabled, is still the same method. So, let's check if this one works as well. Refresh the page, and yeah, it does. And last but not least, we can use the config helper function to see if the debug mode is enabled. So we have config and app.debug. All right, switch to browser, refresh the page, and as you can see, we are getting the same result. All three methods do their job, but let's see which one is faster. Let's open the browser, refresh the page, and as you can see, the config helper is slightly bit faster than the app helper while the app facade obviously is a bit slower let's try once again yeah all right guys that was it i hope you enjoyed the video and stick around this channel because i will post more zero cost tutorials like this one if you have any feedback comments or concerns leave them in the comment section and i'll do my best to respond to all of them see you in the next one